now. Good evening, everybody. I'm C.J. Ward. And I'm Beth Farnsworth. The Iowa caucuses are behind us. New Hampshire's primary is coming up. Election 2024 is well underway. And News Channel reporter John Palminteri joins us live. And John, you spoke with voters today about what's top of mind for them right now. And there's so much going on with conversations all over as we start 2024. And those conversations are definitely full of politics, the cost of housing, and the cost of living overall. We checked in. We've barely started 2024 and political emotions are running hot. It is in the forefront as election days are lining up, debates are on the calendar, and people are making up their minds. In some cases, they're up in arms over what's ahead and trying to process their choices. I'm cautiously optimistic, but there's reason for concern. Yeah. I wish we had better choices. That's what I hope. And to avoid too many conflicts with family and friends. We don't talk about it. So we talk about other things. So we have to hope that we have a very good year. We have to hope that people do the right thing that are in office and leading the government. If the big picture is too much to handle, one person said focus smaller to your local leaders and your local elections. We want to see a look at it at the lowest possible level, whether it's your school board, your city congress, city council, and move it on up. You can't hide. If it's not politics outright, it's inflation and the economy that's affecting the mood of America, their savings, and their cost of living. But I imagine in the economy right now, it could be hard for some people to be optimistic. The nature of the of the economy has a lot to do with what's going to happen in politics, or politics is going to drive the economy. Going forward, nearly everyone we spoke with who's looking ahead is trying to find a silver lining or a change for the good. I think people have had so many bad years since COVID that uh, people are ready for a change. And I think the pendulum will swing from one side to the other. And so people are ready for that swing. Am I optimistic for a good year? Absolutely. I'm always optimistic, still trying to figure out as much as I can, take in as much news as possible, but always optimistic. Election ballots locally go out in early February, about a month before the Super Tuesday primary. We have elections in March on Super Tuesday and again in November, and the ballots are going to be full before the year is over with city council races, county supervisors, state assembly, state senate, congress, judicial seats as well. And on top of all that, of course, is the presidential election. Reporting live in Santa Barbara, News Channel reporter John Palminteri. San Luis Obispo County is calling on the public to serve as poll workers for the upcoming presidential primary. The county clerk recorder's office is recruiting right now for a number of open positions. Responsibilities include setting.